Biological systems sense and respond to their environment. We know this because we live it. When we exercise, we get stronger. When we cut our skin, we heal. But the built environment and the machines that surround us, these chairs, that projector, they don't do this. Why not? The answer is actually quite simple. It's because they aren't made out of living biological materials, like we are. Imagine a world where we could build with biological materials in the same way that we build with wood or metal or plastics. This is the promise and the vision of biohybrid design. I'm going to give you a simple example of a biohybrid machine, a robot that moves and walks around. In our bodies, we use skeletal muscle to generate force and produce motion. Skeletal muscle is anchored to our bones via tendons and stretched across articulating joints. It receives electrical pulses from our brain that tell it to contract, generating these large motions. We can use this as a way to inspire us to build a muscle-powered robot. We can engineer skeletal muscle in the lab by mixing cells and proteins together in a mold and letting them self-assemble to form a dense tissue or rubber band-like structure. We can stretch that rubber band around a 3D-printed polymer skeleton, making a half-biological, half-synthetic machine. As you can see in this video, these cells are genetically engineered to respond to blue light, which means we can tell the robot to walk, when to walk, and where to walk, simply by flashing light on it. The great thing about these biohybrid robots is that unlike traditional synthetic machines, they can get stronger when they exercise, and they can heal completely from damage. That shows us that even in this relatively simple two-component biohybrid machine, building with biology can and does make a big difference. So what do we do with this? Where do we go from here? Do we replace all of the machines in our environment with biohybrid systems? Maybe. But I think we have an obvious and deeply necessary place to start. And that is in the most dynamic and constantly changing environment that I know, the human body. Imagine if we could build biohybrid implants that were fully soft, powered entirely by sugar, could damage and heal completely, and could sense and respond to individualized patient needs in real time. This area of building with biology is tremendously interesting, but completely unexplored. I believe that we can build biohybrid implantable devices that dynamically sense and therapeutically modulate our bodies in real time to advance human health and quality of life. I want to train the next generation of engineers to build with biology and teach them that the next generation of biologically relevant machines should integrate our dynamic natural world with our own adaptive bodies. My name is Ritu Raman. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at MIT, an engineer, a writer, a maker, and most importantly, a biohybrid designer. Thank you.